friends and welcome back. There are days when we don't want to do anything. We just want to sit, relax and enjoy our weekend. This happened exactly the same with me this weekend. I was not in a mood to do anything new. Rather than doing the daily household chores, I just wanted to sit, relax, enjoy my weekend and give most of my time to my son. As his exams were approaching and being a working mother, I was not too regular with him in studies. I don't wanted to prepare anything for myself. So whatever there was left in the fridge, I decided to mix everything together, add some spices to it and quickly make a sandwich for myself. I started loving my day. When no doorbell was ringing, no kids were shouting, no maid were calling, not in a hurry to reach the office, not in a hurry to make any meal, no tiffin packing, nothing. To make my son understand the importance of time and how he can manage his studies, his sports, his play time and his other activity, in my absence, I have placed this order for the alarm clock. I was eagerly waiting for this alarm clock to come and I was very happy with the result. I quickly explained the features and how it functioned to my son. <laughs> Since there were many questions that were coming to and fro and I cannot take a step back because I needed to explain him so that he can easily function it in my absence. Once he was satisfied, I placed it on his study table. By the time my son is getting ready, taking his breakfast and making himself settled, a reminder clicked on my mobile phone and it reminded me of to do a descaling of my washing machine today. I quickly take out my descaler and I started doing the descaling because I know since today is a relaxing day, I will definitely avoid it. I will quickly put the descaler in this soap dispenser area. And once I have placed this, I will switch on my washing machine. And then I will press this rinse plus option for 3 seconds. Immediately I could see an option would be coming TCL. And then I would start on the start button. Once the tub has done the cleaning, besides that there are other cleaning that we need to take care of. I first started with the lower uh, drainage cleaner. I quickly open this drainage which is easy to open. Normally it should be cleaned every one month but since I have not been so regular in doing the cleaning of this. So now you can see there is so much of dirt that got gathered over here. I will quickly clean it with a uh, water. It is very easy to clean with a normal regular water. There is no chemical required to clean it. Once that is clean, after that I will do the cleaning of the outer area. Since there are times that mud and other particles get stuck in the corners, I will quickly take a cloth and clean it. And with a pressure of water, I will again uh, clean with my hands. Once the cleaning is been done properly, I will place the wall back. It is very easy to open as well as easy to close. And then I will close the front tab. After this is done, the most important place where you would be finding so much of dirt is this part. Firstly, I would be trying to do a cleaning with the normal water by just using my hand and try to take out all the mud or all the dirt that is gathered. And then with a clean cloth, I will take out all the dirt that was gathered over there. I will do the cleaning twice and thrice till the time the dirt does not come out. Once the cleaning is been done with the cloth, I will then again apply a pressure, water pressure and then do a cleaning again so that in case something is left behind, it will get drained down. Once I have done the cleaning of this part, if you look at the side rubber, that also get 
so much of dirt the thread and other particles that come out from the cloth while washing it gets stuck to this area and we didn't realize it that with this there is a time when washing machine stop working properly after that i will also do the cleaning of the door also if you will realize there are time that we can find some small thread particles which is gathered on the glass door of the washing machine i will quickly do the cleaning with the normal water to be honest there are times that when i don't use any chemical and which i think it is not required at all cleaning it with a proper water or you can even take a cleaning spray and do the cleaning the easiest way to do the cleaning of this uh, soap dispenser and to remove this uh, water marks is to take out this tray once i have taken out this tray i will quickly clean it with a scotch scrub in a scotch scrub i have taken a dish wash as well as a little amount of vinegar and then i have scrubbed it after that i will quickly clean it with water and then dry it in one go only you will realize that after cleaning it with the water and drying it all the marks have gone when we think it is difficult to do it we cannot do it but when we do it and it is very easy we say wow ye to bahut hi easy tha isn't it after doing the cleaning of the front washing machine this area where the uh, water pipe get connected it also need to be uh, clean but since the pigeon has laid eggs over here i cannot do the cleaning over here once this part is done i will again do a tub cleaning it is been advised that once we have done a tub cleaning using a d scale we should do it once again so that if in case any chemical is left it get washed away Now it was time for me to sit with my little champ and help him with his studies so that whatever was left behind on a weekdays we could easily cover it up Nowadays it is very difficult to make kids settle for at least 1 hour but now when he was studying and he promised that he is going to study he made it a demand that he would like to have gajar ka halwa and winters are nothing without making a gajar ka halwa everyone has their own way of making their favorite gajar ka halwa some use lots of milk some make use of khoya some make use of nuts some make it in a pressure cooker and some make it in a different way there are two ways that are normally make gajar ka halwa one of this is right away In a kadai I have added ghee and along with that I have added my grated carrot. Now I will allow it to cook on a low flame so that all the carrot take in all the flavors of ghee. Slowly and gradually carrot will reduce down and will intake all the ghee that I have added to it. Once that binding is been done I will slowly and gradually add milk to it. there is no accurate proportion of milk that i add it is just by learning as well as my experience i got an idea how much milk i should add to it once i have added a milk to my carrot i will allow it to cook on a very low flame so that ghee carrot and milk they all get properly bind up as you can see the carrot had reduced down and the color has also changed Once all three started binding up I will again add a half teaspoon of ghee to it with this it get a very good flavor to it simultaneously I will add some cardamom to it since I am not a cardamom lover I will add a cardamom to it since adding a cardamom will give such a good flavor and taste to your gajar ka halwa We need to be very constant and keep stirring it. While stirring it regularly, all the flavors get totally bind up with each other. I will not add anything more to it. My son and my husband they like to have it 
in a very simple way this halwa is our all time favorite it took me around 1 hour to make it since it has to be made on a very low flame now the last step once everything started getting binding up and the halwa is about to be ready then i will add some sugar to it since the carrot is very sweet enough so i have tried and avoid adding lots of sugar to it generally while making any kind of dessert i add desi khand or jaggery powder but since these both were not available so i have added less amount of sugar whenever i make any dessert my first bhog always goes to my thakur ji once my thakur ji had it then i will mix it with the entire uh, dessert and then i will distribute it equal this one bowl will serve us for 2 to 3 days how can i forget my friends in one bowl i have added it for my husband to take it to his office the next day and in one bowl i have added for myself whenever i make any dessert i make sure that i am giving it to my house helper since she also help me in preparing it once everything is evenly distributed and the cleaning is been done now it was the time for me and my son to have our evening dinner in dinner today he wanted to have maggi and i cannot say no to him because today he quietly studied at least for 2 and a half hour he promised and he did it so itna to banta hai and on the other hand my husband was not there he has gone out with his friend and i was in a no mood to do cook it so i made maggi and i also enjoyed a little bit of maggi with him along with my green tea mothers are always strict right so to balance my strictness my office work my love and affection towards him i always try to give quality time to him whether make him him do self studies or to fulfill his promise and how he can manage time i try to spend most of the time with him and enjoy with him on the other hand i cannot deny the fact the love to decorate my house always so let's see how i have done it I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and do share it with your friends and families. Till then, take care.